Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School with uh, Jennifer Pranke, who is the head of data science at Atlassian. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. So, Jennifer, Atlassian is one of these companies that we all think of as at the cutting edge, at the forefront of technology and software. It's a, it's a native digital company, a and yet, in some ways, you're really only at the beginning of your uh, data journey. What's it like to be building out a data science team and uh, trying to tackle all the new questions that you can answer? Yeah, that's that's a very good assessment, actually. So, I mean, this is actually one of the reasons why uh, I decided to join Atlassian. Uh, I think it's very interesting for a data scientist to join in at a time where uh, everything remains to be done because there is a lot of excitement that goes along with, like, traditionally, like, the startup world. At the same time, a company like Atlassian has a very established customer base, which means that they have a very healthy way to generate a lot of data and uh, there is basically a lot of opportunities for people like me and any data scientist really to join and uh, work on something very exciting. So one of the things that I was really excited about at Atlassian is that people keep talking about, you know, like uh, social media and the way people uh, connect and communicate with each other, but nobody really dug into uh, how you can use all of this data to understand how people get work done. And so this is what pretty much we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. But uh, you also have lots of different products, and so you have a single data science team that's trying to make sense of, of data that's being generated by you know, a wide range of products. How does that make it more difficult? It's, it's definitely, you know, like uh, when you compare to other companies, usually you have like one data scientist dedicated to trying to solve the problem of one specific uh, product team and really focus on one specific type of data. Now, when you look at, you know, like the way that data science is evolving in general, right? I mean, so we're geared towards like a, a general artificial intelligence and trying to go to towards a higher level of abstraction. So I think it's a problem that uh, more and more people are going to have to solve. And so the way we're trying to do this at Atlassian is that um, uh, the the data science team actually depends on the, the platform department. So we are, we're a platform team. And so we are trying to find solutions where, uh, and trying to generate models that can solve more than one problem and translate into several data products rather than just one. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you've said that uh, in, in data science, you've, you've got sort of a, a research point of view and then uh, a very practice oriented point of view. How do you bridge those different perspectives? Yeah. It's, it's always very difficult to balance, right? I mean, so I think like uh, very large companies like Facebook or Google can afford to have like a, a specifically like a research unit mm -hmm. that's just going to focus on the research side of things. But uh, to be honest, like uh, most data science teams in the world are really like uh, trying to bridge together like research, technology, engineering, and uh, business really, right? I mean, so uh, this means that, you know, like uh, I, I always like to think about agile because Atlassian is really very much about like bringing agile to the world, mm -hmm. right? And so the traditional way of doing Agile is not something that works really well for data scientists because data science is really research plus engineering, and so it's uh, it's also a challenge for me to try to you know like uh, reimagine uh, what agile should be for data mm -hmm. science teams. And for the business folks who uh, we deal with primarily here at, at Haas, what what are sort of the, some of the messages that you'd want to communicate to the business folks to bridge that gap around? implementing agile in, in an area like data science yeah now I think I think one of the big th things that you know like would make like a, a really any company really successful is that uh, obviously and it's really important for data science people to understand that right I mean I think as data scientists were always attracted by deep learning new technologies and trying to go for the fanciest kinds of models uh, but really at the end of the day we're here to make money for a company right and so uh, it's also very important to understand that sometimes you can get uh, fantastic models and fantastic results with uh, you know like a, a just a, a heuristic model right I mean think of uh, the Pareto rule right I mean you can get 80% of the work done with 20% of the effort uh, now at the same time companies also have to think about uh, where do I want to be uh, five, ten years from now, right? I mean, so it means that you also have to keep dedicating some of your resources for long-term planning and think about, like, what's coming next, AI and, like, uh, uh, the more sophisticated technologies and make sure that you always allo allocate resources for that. Jennifer, thank you. My pleasure.